story after story of, of Uber and Lyft drivers living out of their car, um, homeless, are barely hanging on. And meanwhile, these companies just went public and their CEOs are literally billionaires. Um, they're making, you know, $45 million a year. Um, the, the companies themselves are billion dollar companies and they're refusing um, to share that with their workers. And that's just wrong. Hey everyone, Ezra here for the Rideshare Guy. Now recently I was up in Sacramento, California covering one of the rallies related to California AB5, which is a bill that could affect how drivers are classified as workers going forward. Now, one thing I realized from talking to so many drivers is that there's quite a bit of confusion regarding AB5, what exactly it is and what its implications would be. Now, we had the opportunity to actually speak with the author of the bill, State Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, so you can hear directly from her what AB5 is and why it's so important for drivers. We are here with State, California State Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez, and she's gonna tell us about AB5. So, what is AB5? Well, AB5, it's pretty simple. Last year, the Supreme Court ruled on a, a decade-long case about what constitutes an employee. It was a decision called the Dynamex decision. And in that, um, the Supreme Court said, enough with this old test, it's very simple. If you do the primary work of, of the employer, you're an employee, um, you know, that pretty simple standard. Uh, that affected, that one company, but clearly it was a test, and they call it the ABC test, it, it's very clear, um, would affect everybody in California. And so uh, rather than allow people or force people to go sue every single time, we took that ruling and said, it's time to just apply it to all the laws in California, to all the employee classification laws, and um, set up a standard that everybody understands, both employees and employers, and um, as well as you know general taxpayers so so that's what ab5 does it says hey it basically if you do the primary work of the employer you're an employee you have the right to minimum wage you have the right to overtime uh you have the right to workers compensation unemployment insurance paid family leave sick days um you you have the ability if you want to uh to join a union and collectively bargain the employer has to contribute 7.5 percent into social security and medicare on your behalf um, so all these things that are missing right now when employees are treated as independent contractors would be solidified in law. Every time I've ever been, um, I've taken a, a rideshare car, you talk to the drivers and you get vastly different responses, but there are some things you hear time and time again. Um, there's not certainty of wages. Uh, they're very afraid of being shut out of the app with no explanation. There's no right to redress, basically. I've heard stories right and left of for example, a driver who was involved in an accident, not as actually engaging the accident, they got hit by another driver, another um, rideshare driver, and they lost the right to the app. So their car was ruined, they're out of work, um, they went to the hospital, they have hospital bills, and now they, they lost their ability to, to earn a living um, at no fault of their own. Okay, well, there are a lot of things in that scenario that if you were an employee, is solved. Do you have workers' compensation? If you get hurt on the job, it means they, they take care of um, your medical bills. Uh, you have unemployment insurance if you lose your job so that you have a little bit of a safety net. Um, and you have, you have the right to you know, not be fired for, for discriminatory reasons. So um, these are issues that I think when you talk to drivers, they realize uh, there's something missing. In California, we, we have... Um, rules and, and we have a social compact of what we expect employers to do and the reason we have that is because we have a social safety net that we taxpayers pay for right what you explained is a situation where the public is actually subsidizing these yes. incredibly rich corporations absolutely I mean we're subsidizing the workers and you know I I, I am a progressive Democrat right I, I probably vote for every every bill that would help people not be in poverty I, I believe that you know we can't let people be homeless and poor Last year we passed a bill, it's the Earned Income Tax Credit, that now applies to independent contractors. That is a great bill in that like, it's money in the pocket of independent contractors who haven't made enough money. That's taxpayer dollars though. We're literally giving this to Uber and Lyft drivers when they should just be making more money. Um, and so we're subsidizing uh, these companies as they get wealthier and wealthier in the name of innovation when there's nothing innovative about piece rate work. It's been around forever. There's nothing innovative about gig work. That's the original gig workers are performers. We, we figured that piece out. So, the, you know, they, they are companies that basically took Google Maps and lined up two people together. They didn't create some 
um, special unicorn potion that, you know, we're suddenly going to excuse all the incoming quality they're creating. Without question, I have never gotten into an Uber or Lyft um, with somebody who really relied on that as a living, as a job, um, where the driver felt like they were being treated fairly. And that's pretty bad. One of the talking points we hear a lot um, in the back and forth over AB5 is that drivers would lose their flexibility. So is there truth to the idea that employees can't have flexibility in their work? Absolutely not. That's one of, I think, the biggest lies being put out there by Uber and Lyft. Now, if, they, if Uber and Lyft decide that they don't want to be flexible, and by the way, they could decide that now under this construct that people are under, um, then they wouldn't be flexible. But that could happen as independent contractors and that could happen as employees. If they decide, you know what, we're gonna have the exact same way of doing things, you get paid when you log in, you get paid at least a minimum wage when you're, you're on the app, um, they, they can, there's nothing in labor law that says you have to have a set schedule, that you have to work a certain number of hours or not work a certain number of hours besides overtime. We hope it passes and gets signed, and if it does, that means a, a driver would, would have the right to um, minimum wage, uh, overtime protections, that's time and a half if you work over eight hours a day or 40 hours in a week. Um, they'd be uh, covered by workers' compensation. Um, they get unemployment insurance in case that they were their app was shut down on them. Um, they'd be paid for mileage under current law. Um, they'd actually be able to submit that to their employer. They'd have the right to take off three paid sick days because that's the law in California, um, paid time off if you're sick. Um, they'd have the right or their the employer um, would work with them so that they could have paid family leave. That's something an employee pays a, a payroll tax on, but it's something that would be accessible then to them. They'd have the right to organize if they wanted. They'd have seven and a half percent more going into their social security um, on behalf of, uh, for their future, obviously, for some sort of future uh, when they're done. So um, they would have those provisions and Uber and Lyft would have to live by those and there are a lot of people of course who say well they'll just get up and leave well california is their largest market it's going to be kind of hard to leave and if they do there are hundreds of other companies out there that would start we know this um this there is a market for this product um and that market will still exist and, and uber and lyft haven't said they'll leave they just said they can't sustain it well i i i, I question that you know, their shareholders might make less money, their CEO and COO and, and um, founders may make less money, but they can share some of that profit with the drivers. And that's what we're hoping for.